Concept of Compound Interest Anil deposits $1,000 into a savings account that pays compound interest annually. The table shows the annual balance for this investment. What interest rate did the bank give Anil? So we have a table here showing years 1 to 5 and the balance at the end of every year. So we started with $1,000, right? That is the beginning. And at the end of the year, the $1,000 grows to ten sixty. At the end of two years, this amount is worth eleven twenty three sixty. What we need to find here is the interest rate that the bank is giving. Now, how to find this compound interest rate? One way is we can find the ratio in which the money is growing. Since we know that compound interest goes geometrically correct so this is a geometric progression since it is a geometric progression there has to be a constant multiplier correct so let's find the ratio in which the money is growing so we can do it by dividing consecutive numbers so 1123.6 divided by 1060 gives us 1.06 so when we do 1123.60 divided by 1060, we get 1.06. Now let's divide these two. That means we'll divide 1191.02 by 1123.60. 1191.02 divided by 1123.60. That also gives us 1.06. Okay, let's do it once again. 1262.48 divided by 1191.02. 1262.48 divided by 1191.02. It gives us 1.0599. Well, that can be approximated to 1.0. 06. So what we observe here is that the growth factor is 1.06, correct? So we can write growth factor as 1.06, right? So this is as good as 1 plus 0 0.06. Do you see that? From here, you get the growth rate. So what is the growth rate? 6%. Do you see that? So from the growth factor, we get the growth rate. And we can write growth rate is in decimals. In decimals, it is 0 0.06, right? In decimals, it is 0 0.06, which is 6%. So we can say it is being compounded annually at the rate of 6%. So that is how we can find compound interest rate right now there is another way to do it and that is kind of tricky in a sense we are cheating the system now if you see in first year the growth rate or the interest compounded annually or a simple interest is going to be same right because initially there is no interest right to charge interest on so in the first year, if we calculate the interest rate, that will give us the compounding interest rate directly. Since the growth in the first year is from 1000 to 1060, so what is the earning? It is 1060 minus 1000 divided by 1000, right? So percent is times 100. That gives us how much? That gives us 6%. You see that? So we could find from the first year itself, the interest rate, right? So it's important to know that if we are given the interest for the first year, then the simple interest and the compound interest will be same, correct? So that helps you to sometimes solve a question, but you know, you may not always get a question like that. And therefore, it is kind of important to understand the concept which we went through that is 
we should find the growth factor and from the growth factor we can find the interest rate and that is the interest rate which is being paid by the bank. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.